Obasa, who is the Speaker of the Lagos House of Representatives, have been in office since God knows how long. This man has been in office for so long that he now feels that he is the most powerful person in Lagos State. Because, hmm. Anyway, before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Obasa eyeballs Sonwolu over unclared nominees. It is no longer news that there is a frosty relationship between Governor Babachide Sonwolu of Lagos State and members of the House of Assembly. Since the advent of a fourth republic, the House of Assembly had always given the green light to the executive as far as screening and confirmation of commissioner nominees are concerned. However, the cold war between the executive and legislative arms of government has led to the lawmaker's rejection of 17 out of 39 nominees sent by the governor for screening and confirmation. On July 25, Governor Sonwolu submitted 39 names to the House for screening and confirmation as commissioners. However, the assembly led by Mr. Mudashiru Obasa rejected 17 nominees and confirmed 22. While Governor Sonwolu has kept mute on the matter, Speaker Obasa urged those interested in the matter to approach the House. The speaker yesterday shed light on why 17 nominees were rejected by the House. Speaking at the resumed sitting, Obasa said, and I quote, Anybody interested in knowing why we took such decisions should approach the House. The House as a body restrained itself from exposing what was discovered during the screening exercise, and we would not be forced to spill it, the House came up with so many resolutions which the executive did not carry out. Nobody has noticed, nobody has said anything about that. So I don't know what informed the erroneous belief that the House is fighting the governor. We must get this right, that we have a constitutional responsibility and have exercised the responsibility by clearing some and denying some, and we have our reasons for saying so, which I believe people making imputes left and right do not know. We must understand what political party is all about. It is about a group of people who aspire to gain power. So we have the power since 1999, and we have to sustain it. We must protect our party. We've had technocrats in the past, and these would come and go, but we will remain. So I am trying to protect my party, and I would continue to do that. We are not going to sacrifice service to our people in the name of tech technocrats, no. We have said no, and it remains so. If there is any reason for us to reverse our decision, if there is a germane and convincing reason, I think we will, we will, but not by threat. 
we are politicians, if not for us, the technocrats wouldn't be appointed. It was due to our success that they got appointed and to our estimation, if they had not done well, I think we have the right to say no and we have said no. We are not going to be threatened, but it is good to advise a man living in a glass house not to throw stones. If not, the glass may soon be shattered. Presiding over the plenary yesterday, Obasan maintains that the House did, did a thorough work in the screening exercise, adding that all nominees were allowed to express themselves as their past, present, and future were probed. Throwing his weight behind the Speaker, the lawmaker representing Ali Mosho constituency too, Mr. Kendi Joseph, urged the governor to consider APC members who worked for APC's electoral victory in the last general elections. He said, and I quote, people have been calling us politicians, thieves, but they forget that we are closer to the people. We do these so-called what do these so-called technocrats know about the community or words? The secret there is that whenever the executive sits during the executive council meetings, they want them to discuss issues affecting people at the grassroots. I want to urge our governor that whenever he decides to choose a commissioner, he should first consider those of us they have tagged irresponsible. In Ali Mosho, we delivered 87,000 votes. There is no time these things will not come back to haunt us. Areas that have the largest votes are Ali Mosho, Mushi, Agege, Ifakoijai, and Kushofe local government areas. If we don't encourage those who worked for the party to benefit, they feel betrayed, and that is what affected us, APC, in the last general elections. Most party members are not happy over this. The party leaders should ensure that those who worked for the party are compensated. A source who spoke in confidence said election is different from appointment. The gov governor should pick two commissioners, special advisors. The deputy governor should pick two commissioners, special advisors, and let the speaker and other members pick 35 commissioners, special advisors based on the performance of each constituency. Wah, woo. <laughs> Wah, woo. <laughs> so, so I'm surprised is, 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 is an understatement. What? Com the president, the governor will pick a, 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 <laughs> a com two commissioners and two special assistants. The deputy will pick two and they will leave the rest up to the speaker and the house to pick the rest based on the performance. So what they are saying is they do not want technocrats to be commissioners. They want it to be given to politicians who have actually worked for the party. Hey, I have a dick. <laughs> oh my God, this country now is, is, this country is a joke. Lagos State safe, now joke. So the speaker and the rest of a member of the House of Representatives, they want to be able to pick they want to pick 35 commissioners for the governor by their themselves. Ah, is this how they used to do in Lagos, <laughs> my people? Leave your opinions and comments in the comment section. Let me hear from you because this is a shock to me. This is a shocker. A shocker, shocker, shocker. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone, for listening. I love you all, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.